Hey guys, I'm finally back with another video. This is my Coachella outfits video. I have three that I will hopefully be wearing the three days that I'm there. I went for comfort this year. Comfort fashionista. I think I still look cute, but I'm not overdoing it. I'm also going to show you the essentials that I think are needed while you're out there in the hot sun for those three days. I'm also excited because I don't know if you can tell from the lighting, but it's different, it's new, and I bit the bullet and bought the Stellar, Stellar Diva ring light, the one that makes the pretty rings in your eyes. I'm so excited for this. So for makeup, just go easy. I just, I went with like a really simple eye look. Obviously gotta have the brows. Um, just a little color on the cheeks. I did obviously a little bit more for the video. I didn't want to be looking all nasty and everything. Um, and then make sure that the very first thing that you need to have on your face before you even put your makeup on is make sure that you have a very good lotion with broad spectrum SPF. That is I'm going to say the most important thing to have. I don't like putting face um, sunblock on because even though they say it's not oily, it is oily. There's nothing that you can do about it. But this along with, I didn't bring it, but whatever face makeup you have, make sure that also has SPF and I think you should be alright. Definitely do not wear high heels. In my first look, I am wearing little kitten kitten booties, but the heel's like this big. And I know that I can walk in that thing for day, days at a time. If I was stuck in a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to survive in those shoes. But do not wear heels. Definitely go for comfort. You're going to regret it. Trust me, I see girls every single year, especially like celebrities that think that they have to be super hot. One year I remember... Paris Hilton was wearing like all yellow. I literally thought she was Big Bird. And she was wearing these ridiculous high heels like she was at the club and you're walking on grass, sometimes in mud. You really don't want to be walking around like that. So what I picked up for my shoes is just some really cheap ones from from uh, Walmart, but just some insoles, some gel insoles for extra comfort. They feel really, really nice. I can't wait to put them in my boots. I think these are going to be the best ones that I've ever had, but you definitely need comfort. For your face, ob obviously you're going to need at least a, a setting powder of some kind to take with you. And a, just this little, maybe a kabuki brush just to blot yourself because you're going to be sweating any of your makeup off and if you want to keep some sort of face on definitely some blotting or some setting powder. I also have a uh, carry with me as everyone knows um, blotting papers which are pretty helpful. I've never actually carried these with me through Coachella. I'm not sure they're gonna allow me to. Um, a hair tie you think you're going to get all glamorous and curl your hair and look all diva? You're not. It's going to fall out. You're going to sweat it to hell. This right here is the way to go. Last year I just threw it in a ponytail. This year I'm bunning it. You obviously are going to need some chapstick. Really, really good chapstick. I don't even know if this one's allowed. I have to check the thing again. Um, Sunglasses, some little sunnies would definitely help you out. I think I'm going to bring a different pair for each outfit because I'm weird. I like to bring moisturizer with me because even though it's hot, I, I must like have a lot of salt and sugar intake. Um, my hands get really swollen in the heat. It's very strange. So moisturizer helps relieve some of the pressure. Obviously, you're going to need some SPF on you at all times. They do allow this into, into Coachella, and most likely you don't want to wait until you get there to buy it. It's probably going to be like $14 and some terrible brand from the $0.99 cent store. 
And lastly, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, not lastly, I lied to you. Makeup wipes. Just stick a couple in a Ziploc baggie and put them in your and put them in your purse if if you ever want to just rip the makeup off or even if you don't wear makeup and you just want your face to feel refreshed, I would just take a couple of these in a Ziploc to frequently wipe my face. And lastly, uh, like a maybe like a handkerchief. This is for my hair, you know, like a cute little thing for my hair that I might wear. But you can also fashion this around your neck. Sounds very weird, but you're going to see it if you're going. You're going to see it everywhere. Um, you get it wet and then put it around your neck, and it's a lifesaver. Um, I would say, obviously, common sense, it's a good deodorant. Um, but if you have VIP tickets, tickets you get to go into the VIP uh, lounge area if you're 21 and they have like a girls powder room in the back where they have spray deodorant and like someone to touch up makeup or um, just to get out of the heat if you're not in VIP and you have general um, definitely a really strong deodorant and one of these guys because this is going to save you. So that's all my advice to you except hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I'm definitely going to be having a couple of cocktails myself but I will be hydrating a lot with some water along with my Coca-Cola because I can't go without that. And um, just have fun and make the most of your experience. I can't wait to go and get it over with. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you. And if not, I appreciate you stopping by. And remember, always be gentle. Bye.